In Baghdad, dozens of people are dead after a suicide bomber attacked a military recruiting center. Many of those injured were volunteers waiting in line outside, leaving this witness to ask, what crimes have the volunteers committed? The Baghdad blast is seen as retaliation for Iraq's campaign to retake cities overrun by al-Qaeda militants. This week, the Iraqi government launched airstrikes against al-Qaeda-linked targets in the city of Ramadi. In nearby Fallujah on Thursday, residents returned to the streets, seeing a lull in fighting. But some have already fled the city. Those who remain have had to line up for basic supplies. We don't have gas, oil or benzene, said this Fallujah resident. Meanwhile, in Washington, House Speaker John Boehner accused President Barack Obama of ignoring the recent violence. The United States has and will continue to have vital national interest in Iraq. We must maintain a long-term commitment to a successful outcome there. And it's time that the president recognized this and get engaged. To which the White House responded. We are, watching, we are very mindful of the fact that this uh, al-Qaeda affiliate has um, uh, created a lot of chaos and uh, carnage in Anbar province. And that's why we are engaged in the effort we are to assist the Iraqi government to help them uh, expel that presence. While the administration says it will not send U.S. troops back to Iraq, it has said it will accelerate military deliveries. But just what the U.S. will send is up for debate in Congress. Padmanandarama, Associated Press.